the 15 strong Muslim leaders in history. Muslim leaders who have had a significant impact on Islamic history and culture, and who are often considered to be among the strongest and most influential figures in the Muslim world. 1. Colon Prophet Muhammad, 570-632 CE Prophet Muhammad is considered to be the founder of Islam and one of the most influential figures in world history. He was born in Mecca, in present-day Saudi Arabia, and began receiving revelations from God at the age of 40. These revelations, which were recorded in the Holy Book of Islam, the Quran, formed the basis of the Islamic faith. Prophet Muhammad also established the first Muslim community in Medina, which became the model for future Islamic societies. Throughout his life, Prophet Muhammad faced numerous challenges and obstacles, including persecution from the ruling authorities in Mecca and military conflicts with neighboring tribes. However, he was able to overcome these challenges through his leadership, charisma, and unwavering commitment to the principles of Islam. After his death, the Muslim community continued to expand and flourish, spreading Islam throughout the Arabian Peninsula and beyond. 2. Colon Caliph Umar ibn al-Khattab, 584-644 CE, Caliph Umar ibn al-Khattab was the second caliph, or leader of the Muslim community, following the death of Prophet Muhammad. He is considered to be one of the strongest and most just rulers in Islamic history and his reign is often cited as a period of great prosperity and stability for the Muslim world. During his reign, Caliph Umar implemented a number of reforms and policies that helped to strengthen the Muslim community and promote justice and equality. He established a system of public welfare, providing financial support to the poor and needy, and he encouraged the spread of Islamic knowledge and education. He also oversaw the expansion of the Muslim empire, conquering territories in the Middle East, North Africa, and Central Asia. 3. Colon Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi, 1137-1193 CE, Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi, also known as Saladin, was a Muslim military leader who is best known for his role in the Crusades. He was born in Tikrit, in present-day Iraq, and rose to prominence as the commander of the Muslim forces during the Crusader siege of Jerusalem in 1187. Under Sultan Salahuddin's leadership, the Muslim forces were able to recapture Jerusalem from the Crusaders, marking a major victory for the Muslim world. However, Sultan Salahuddin was also known for his chivalry and compassion towards his enemies, and he is often cited as a model of Muslim leadership and virtue. 4. Colin Suleiman the Magnificent, 1494-1566 CE Suleiman the Magnificent was the tenth and longest reigning sultan of the Ottoman Empire, which was one of the most powerful Muslim empires in history. He is often cited as a model of Islamic governance and leadership, and his reign is considered to be a period of great cultural and intellectual flourishing for the Muslim world. During his reign, Suleiman oversaw several significant reforms and developments including the establishment of a centralized legal system and the construction of numerous public works and institutions. He was also a patron of the arts and sciences, and his court was home to many prominent scholars, poets, and artists. 5. Colon Imam Ali, 600-661 CE, Imam Ali was the cousin and son-in-law of Prophet Muhammad and is considered to be one of the most important figures in Islamic history. He was known for his piety wisdom, and leadership. Imam Ali was the fourth caliph of the Muslim community, and his reign is often cited as a period of great justice and social reform. During his time as caliph, Imam Ali established several reforms and policies aimed at promoting justice and equality, including the redistribution of wealth, the abolition of certain taxes, and the establishment of a system of public welfare. Imam Ali was also known for his military prowess and he played a key role in many of the early Muslim conquests. However, he was also a man of peace, and he is often cited as a model of Islamic ethics and morality. His teachings and writings continue to be influential in the Muslim world today, and he is revered as one of the most important figures in Islamic history. 6. Nuruddin Zangi, 1118-1174 CE Nuruddin Zangi was a Muslim military leader who played a key role in the Crusades. 
He was born in Damascus and rose to power as the ruler of the Zanjan dynasty. Under his leadership, the Muslim forces were able to resist the Crusader attacks and push them back from the Middle East. Nuruddin was known for his military prowess and his commitment to the principles of Islam. He was also a patron of the arts and sciences, and his court was home to many prominent scholars and intellectuals. 7 Colon Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, 1077-1166 CE, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani was a prominent Muslim scholar and mystic who is best known for his teachings on Islamic spirituality and ethics. He was born in Persia and spent much of his life traveling and teaching throughout the Muslim world. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani was known for his piety, wisdom, and humility, and his teachings continue to be influential in the Muslim world today. He is also considered to be one of the most important figures in the Sufi tradition of Islam, which emphasizes the inner, mystical aspects of the faith. 8. Umar ibn Abd al-Aziz, 682-720 CE Umar ibn Abd al-Aziz was the eighth Umayyad caliph and is considered to be one of the most just and pious rulers in Islamic history. He was known for his commitment to social justice and his efforts to promote equality and fairness in the Muslim community. During his reign, Umar ibn Abd al-Aziz implemented several significant reforms and policies aimed at promoting justice and equality, including the abolition of certain taxes and the establishment of a system of public welfare. He was also known for his commitment to education and his support for scholars and intellectuals. 9. Al-Ghazali, 1058-1111 CE, Al-Ghazali was a prominent Muslim scholar and theologian who is best known for his contributions to Islamic philosophy and theology. He was born in Iran and spent much of his life traveling and teaching throughout the Muslim world. Al-Ghazali's teachings on Islamic philosophy and theology continue to be influential in the Muslim world today, and his work has had a significant impact on the development of Islamic thought and culture. 10. Imam Bukhari, 810-870 CE, Imam Bukhari was a prominent Muslim scholar and hadith collector who is best known for his work on the compilation of the Sahih al-Bukhari, one of the most important collections of hadith in the Muslim world. He was born in Bukhara, in present-day Uzbekistan, and spent much of his life traveling and collecting hadiths from scholars throughout the Muslim world. Imam Bukhari's work on the compilation of the Sahih al-Bukhari continues to be one of the most important and influential contributions to Islamic scholarship. 11. Colon Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi, 1137-1193 CE, Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi, also known as Saladin was a Muslim military leader who played a key role in the Crusades. He was born in Tikrit, in present-day Iraq, and rose to power as the Sultan of Egypt and Syria. Under his leadership, the Muslim forces were able to defeat the Crusaders in several important battles, including the Battle of Hatin in 1187. He is also known for his chivalry and his commitment to justice and fairness even towards his enemies. Saladin is revered as a hero in the Muslim world, and his example of leadership and courage continues to be celebrated today. 12. Imam Abu Hanifa, 699-767 CE, Imam Abu Hanifa was a prominent Muslim scholar and jurist who is best known for his contributions to Islamic jurisprudence. He was born in present-day Iraq and spent much of his life teaching and studying in Kufa one of the most important centers of Islamic scholarship in the early Muslim world. Imam Abu Hanifa's teachings on Islamic jurisprudence continue to be influential in the Muslim world today, and his work has had a significant impact on the development of Islamic law and legal theory. 13. Colon Muhammad ibn Zakariya al-Razi, 865-925 CE, Muhammad ibn Zakariya al-Razi, also known as Razas was a prominent Muslim physician and scientist who is best known for his contributions to medicine and chemistry. He was born in present-day Iran and spent much of his life working and studying in Baghdad, one of the most important centers of learning in the Muslim world at the time. Al-Razi's work on medicine and chemistry had a significant impact on the development of these fields in the Muslim world and beyond. He is also known for his commitment to empirical observation and experimentation which helped to pave the way for the scientific method.
14, Fatima al Fairi, 800 to 880 CE. Fatima al Fairi was a prominent Muslim woman who is best known for her role in the founding of the University of Al Khwar al Oyayin in present day Morocco. She was born in present day Tunisia and moved to Fez, in present day Morocco, with her family at a young age. With the wealth she inherited from her father, Fatima al Fairi founded the University of Al Khwar al Oyayin in the 9th century which is widely considered to be the oldest continuously operating university in the world. The university was open to both men and women and provided education in a wide range of subjects, including Islamic studies, law, and natural sciences. Fatima al firis example of female empowerment and education continues to inspire women in the Muslim world today. 15. Imam Malik, 711-795 CE Imam Malik was a prominent Muslim scholar and jurist who is best known for his contributions to Islamic jurisprudence. He was born in present-day Saudi Arabia and spent much of his life studying and teaching in Medina, one of the most important centers of Islamic scholarship in the early Muslim world. Imam Malik's teachings on Islamic jurisprudence continue to be influential in the Muslim world today and his work has had a significant impact on the development of Islamic law and legal theory. The Muslim world has produced a wide range of strong leaders throughout history, from military commanders and scholars to social reformers and educators. These individuals have had a significant impact on the development of Islamic culture and thought, and their legacies continue to be celebrated and studied in the Muslim world today. While this list is by no means comprehensive, it highlights some of the most important and influential Muslim leaders of all time.